Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I am cleaning my house and doing lots of exercise so I hope you enjoy. Don't forget if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Also don't forget to check my description for any social media. I have Instagram, Facebook and OnlyFans so make sure to go down there and and subscribe to my other social medias as well. So today I was just in the mood to go on my hoop so I decided I would just take the camera with me and show you what I get up to a little bit more in this video. Um, it's been a long time since I've been on my hoop. I think it's been about four or five months now since I've been on my hoop due to it being winter and I've not been wanting to go outside because it's been so cold. So it started to recently warm up a little bit more in, in England. And so it was a dry day. It's, it still looks very, very cloudy, but I decided to have a jump on my hoop and have a bit of a play around and see what I could remember. And like I say, it's been a while, so I'm not remembering everything properly. And if I did things wrong, then yeah, that's, that's just how it is. <laughs> And then when I came inside I wanted to have a bit more of an exercise and a stretch because I'm trying to be able to do the splits so that I can do that on my hoop. I'm hoping that that will be more helpful on my hoop. So it's, it always needs a good tidy before I actually do any exercise because the kids just drop everything all over the floor. Mainly this little chap that's in this video now. Uh, yeah, this, this monkey tends to make a big huge mess everywhere so he's very good because when I'm tidying up though he will help me tidy most of the time. But I also wanted to vacuum because it's not nice when you get things stuck to your feet when you're trying to exercise and I couldn't be bothered to get out my yoga mat today. We also have lots of birthday blooms everywhere because it was Leah's birthday recently. She just turned nine so that was very exciting and we've got purple, purple, black and blue, not blue, um, purple, black and green blooms because she wanted to celebrate with uh, a descendant's birthday. She's, she's a little bit obsessed with descendants, so all her presents were descendants and everything was kind of descendants themed to try and make it a bit special with it being locked down and not being able to see her friends during, during her birthday. And like I said, I'm just doing some stretching and some exercise. Part of the reason I've left this in my video and put this in my video is so that I can look back and remember, oh yes, I did exercise, just in case I may have forgotten or, you know, stopped exercising and doing things.
once I had finished doing all of my exercising I decided to sort this side of my living room out it's been collecting lots and lots of toys for a while so a lot of them needed taken upstairs and also my table is full of like jigsaw pieces game pieces and everything that needed properly put in away because Max Max decided he would go into the into the uh, cupboard and empty lots of games and things got everywhere so it needed a good organize and sort out I'm now just wiping down my table because it had so much stuff on it and I'm moving my plant and my um, scented liquid thing because it's um, recently been knocked over a couple of times so I'm moving them so that the kids don't keep knocking them over anymore and today I am also taking all my cushion covers off and cleaning my sofa because it's just disgusting and I do this regularly and yet the kids just can't keep their mucky hands off of it. As I'm doing this voiceover now, the kids have already put handprints on my sofa again and I, I, I honestly don't know how they do it because they are just so quick to get it mucky. It's really frustrating because it looks, looks like I never wash the sofa and never clean the sofa but I clean it so often it's ridiculous. So I thought I would add that into this video as well. And then it is actually a sofa bed which which I actually got for free and it's my one of my favourite sofas that we've had so far. So it's really cool that it's a sofa bed as well so that we can pull it out if we need to when we have any guests around but it does make it a bit awkward for cleaning because everything just all the crumbs and things go through the sofa to the bottom so I'm today pulling it out so that I can clean under the sofa and Max also feeds things through the back of the radiator so we have all these cotton cotton buds that I would have loved to keep that I left out by accident one day and then this is what happened I can't leave anything out Max is a little a little terror that I can't get away from every time I leave something out even for a second he's grabbed it and he's run off with it and it's I've never known a child like it he's just so infuriating sometimes I love him to bits but he just wants to be in everything I think Smudge our cat is just as bad as well as soon as I'm doing anything Smudge is there checking out what I'm doing trying to join in so I've got the two of them on this shot So while the cushion covers are washing, they will get done within the day because I will wash them and tumble dry them and put them back on again. But until then, I've put all the sofa back together so that we can still sit down 
and then I'm also cleaning the arm of the sofa, especially this arm anyway, because this one had lots of chocolate fingerprints all over it as well. So I'm getting that done and cleaned. And after taking all the toys upstairs they just got all thrown on the floor and this was on top of the mountain of toys that were all over the floor already and so I needed to just give everything a big clean and tidy in the boys room. It's only a small room so it seems like a bigger mess than it would be in a lot of bigger bedrooms but obviously it needs tidying a lot more because of that. It honestly took me a good hour hour to hour and a half to actually clean up all these toys it was ridiculous how long I mean if it was less time than that it felt like it was an hour to an hour and a half because there was just so much to do and I, I wasn't going to rush this I was just taking my time because I didn't want to find that I exhausted myself just sorting the kids room out So it is now almost tea time so I'm cleaning the cooker before I start cooking and just to stop anything that's on the cooker from burning and today I am making some macaroni cheese which is Leah's favourite and my favourite and we, we have chicken with our macaroni cheese but I'm actually lactose intolerant so I have to have a separate macaroni cheese to everybody else. So I usually make enough that I can have two meals from it rather than just one. And, and everybody else has a normal macaroni cheese because they not they don't like not having dairy basically. They're, they're fussy and frustrating, which is why I have to make two different ones. But we've only got spiral pasta today, so we are using spiral pasta. And so I like to make my own cheese sauces because I just find it easier and there's less waste, less waste from buying jars all the time. And it's it's also cheaper because I always have the ingredients for these in the in the fridge. So I, I just add some milk into a pan 
and then put some flour in and it, the best way to mix this in is with a whisk but I didn't do that today I used a, I used a spoon and just kind of squidged all the flour in the edge and then once this has started to cook and heat up a bit I will then throw in some cheese and I'm using almond milk for mine and some vegan cheese which is how I make it dairy free so the flour is basically just to thicken thicken the sauce up so it's a nice thick sauce this is a recipe that my mum does and she adds an egg in as well but I don't like adding an egg in I find that makes it a bit weird and a bit too stodgy I like it a little bit more runny so that's what's nice about the mac the um, dairy free one as well it's a lot runnier than the um, than the full dairy macaroni but I'll, I'll mix this up until it gets thick and throw some cheese in and melt the cheese and then today I've just poured I've poured the sauce into the pans first into the pots that go in the oven and I've made way too much for me way too much sauce for me so I'm putting some back and then I'm gonna save that and put it in the fridge so I can use it another day with something else and then I'm just draining the pasta and putting it within the saucy mix and mixing it up and all you do then is grate some cheese on top however much you want we also have pepperoni on top of ours we really like having pepperoni because then all the um, flavour from the pepperoni seeps through. Leah and Max are not so bothered about the pepperoni so I've left some that hasn't got the pepperoni on top so that they can have it without pepperoni. Jacob just doesn't like mac and macaroni cheese at all so I just cook him some chips instead uh, while we cook in the chicken and then I put that in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until it looks nice and crispy on top If you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you don't miss, on, miss out on my next videos. I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!